What is up my aesthetic boys, it's Fresh, back with another video. On today's episode, we'll be diving into the depths of Tumblr, revisiting Quora, and finding out just how to get banned from a Pizza Hut. Howdy, first name. It's Kurt, the sender for your shipment. I am at Minneapolis now. I will reach at 9 p.m. Oh no, you know my name. This is a great parody of Old Town Road I just ran across. Gonna take my tourist to the grocery store. LOL. Here's the link. Your account's been up for three hours and all you've posted is links to this video. When I was 15, I met an adorable little boy who was 10 and had a crush on me. He asked me out on a date and thinking of our age difference, I said, no, when we're older. On his 18th birthday, he called me up and said, we're older now, so how about that date? We have been married for 23 years. Waiting eight years was worth it out. This post definitely not sponsored by three 10 year olds in a trench coat. I texted my work crush and told him that I was in love with him. Literally the words, head over heels, can't stop thinking about you, in love with you. Next thing I knew, he ran into my office and started kissing me. Hey Jess, I know, it's, uh, it's Dirk from HR, again. Third time this week, I really thought we'd ironed out the whole no PDA at work thing, but according to the eight reports I received yesterday, that's still an issue, apparently. There's a reason all the rom-coms show the big kissing scene at an airport and not the office. Please try your best to remember. Careful who you call ugly in middle school. This is middle school me. Girl, don't sleep on me. Oh, come on. No one called you ugly. We went to the same school. Just post your pic and go. See, while blaming other people for your insecurities is always convenient, it's not always the truth. This is my alt account. I am a admin at Discord. Oh, whoa, you're an admin at Discord? Worker. Oh, cool. Where's your building located? In New York or LA? Huh? LA. Oh, LA, nice. That's the new office. Do you like the Wumpus statue? I saw it on Twitter. Looks sick. Yeah, kinda cool. Huh, you know, now that I think about it, that's weird. There's no office in LA for Discord. Or any Wumpus statue. And would you look at that, they got blocked. For those of you who may be unacquainted, the Wumpus is one of the Discord mascots, and it's a reference to a 1972 text-based computer game by the name of Hunt the Wumpus. And just look at how cute Discord's Wumpus is. Hell yeah, I would want a Wumpus statue at Discord LA. Breaking news. Bride walks out on groom during vows after noticing this. Yo, what the hell, dude? The woman started singing in sign language because the guy was deaf. She didn't walk out on him. Why would you put so little effort into researching something you're going to post on your story? Also, the video is nearly three years old and not breaking news at all. It doesn't really matter if it's real or not. You're going to have to click next at least seven or eight times through multiple pages filled with multiple ads just to get to the part of the wedding that you're actually looking for in the headline. And at that point, most people will have just clicked off anyway. Mark Hamill called Zack Snyder's Watchmen his favorite movie. No, I didn't. My Nest Cam glitch and I didn't get a pic of these stupid assholes that literally stapled this to my screen door today. Birds aren't real. Wake up! Birds equal government surveillance drone. Birdsonreal.com. I just did a reverse image search and found this image everywhere. Why make something like this up? I'm leaving this link up to shame you. Hold up though, not only is birdsonreal.com some of the best satire I've seen in a long time, it turns out they have some of the sickest merch in the game. I mean, how could you dislike Cyborg Big Bird? What are you banned from and why? Well, we can't visit the Pizza Hut nearby anymore. Why? A bunch of us were at the local Pizza Hut. One of my buddies gets in an argument with the waitress and then the manager. They refuse to serve him. So he takes his phone and makes a call, then puts his hand on the receiver and asks the manager for the address. We all assume he's calling his dad to come and get him. 30 minutes later, a Domino's Pizza arrives. You're upset you can never go back to your local Pizza Hut? That's a gift, my friend. That's a gift. 
Just a heads up for you folks out there watching the video, the next post does contain the word rape and some thematic elements. If you're not interested in hearing that, I encourage you to skip to this timestamp. It's not rape, it's a struggle snuggle, lol. How many times do people need to hear rape jokes aren't funny before they get it? Yeah, how many times do people on this site need to hear don't make things up to push your agenda before they get it? Brush is the same handwriting as the one of the rape joke, I'm pissing. OP faker confirmed, look at that. The handwriting is exactly the same as the worksheet that she's taking the picture on. Welcome back folks to OP getting dabbed on, the musical. Lol, never been vaccinated and never got sick. Didn't stop me from becoming a marine lamau. Here comes the hate comments. Quit your BS, buddy. The US military forces you to get every single vaccine. Marine my ass. Let's take a look at vaccines.gov, sponsored by HHS. Vaccines for military members. Vaccines are an important part of protecting your health and making sure you're able to serve. As a member of the military, you'll get vaccines when you enter basic training and before you deploy to protect you from serious diseases. Vaccines are a safe and effective way to stay healthy and help protect your fellow military members, your family, and your community. So, yes, OP, not being vaccinated would literally stop you from becoming a Marine. Lamau. My friend still had a set of keys to open our local McDonald's from when he was manager four years ago, so we snuck in and made ourselves McNuggets and milkshakes at like 3 a.m. last weekend. Seriously the best. Well, you can tell this is fake because the ice cream machine was working. I know, I know, it's low-hanging fruit, but give me a break, it was right there. Hydro Ottawa sent you a refund due to an issue with our payment system. Click our link to receive your refund. Man, I don't even own a house. Get out of here. Hey, uh, stop using my info. I've reported you to the police and the RCMP. Wait, I'm confused. Did the scammer just try to report the person that they were scamming? I have no words. This fawn mistook a practice target for their mother. My heart just hurts. When did we lose our way? Oh my goodness, that, that poor fawn having to deal with the loss of a loved one. Hey, wait a second, I took the picture. The fawn didn't lose his mother. If you look at the original post from which you took this picture, it explains that moments after the picture was taken, the mother returned for its fawn and they went off into the woods. Man. Disney's guerrilla marketing for the live-action remake of Bambi is going over the top. This is satire. No, it's not, and I'm the OP, I would know. Yes, it is. I made it. Nice. Did I just shoot a wasp with my Glock? Yes. Was it overly excessive? Yes. Did the wasp deserve it? Oh, yes. No, side note. I didn't check the surroundings. R.I.P. Glass Wall. I mean, hey, you know how the old saying goes, people in glass houses shouldn't shoot wasps. I totally BS'd my Stanford essays, all final drafts written under an hour. How did I get in? If you are unfamiliar with the inner machinations of the Kawara Partners program, well, please watch my previous videos for more information. We did some tests at school. Is a 72 millisecond reaction time any good? Because that's what I got. Well, the fastest reaction to visual stimulus recorded in a test on competitive video game players is about 120 milliseconds, which is incredibly fast. Hmm. I know schools are taking esports more seriously, but I highly doubt they toss a reaction time trial in between your eyesight, hearing, and scoliosis tests. I sent my daughter's doc the list of vaccine ingredients. A couple weeks later, they emailed all of the patients saying, we will no longer be giving vaccines. Educate. Guys, it's 2 a.m. and I literally forgot what oatmeal meant and I thought it was an emotion and I said out loud, I'm feeling very oatmeal, but it didn't make any sense. So I looked up oatmeal, but I spent 20 minuets contemplating if it actually was an emotion and if Google was lying. This text post is so oatmeal. I hate you. Mr. Madison, what you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul.
Fish.